it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another what I ate in a day video. So today, as always, I'm gonna show you everything I'm eating. That is going to be a comfort food edition, self-care, spend the day with me edition. These are the types of videos I love watching lately, so that's kind of why I wanna do this as well. I think it's always a good reminder to, you know, focus on the little things that we enjoy in life. Often, especially when we're adults, we forget to actually enjoy life. Isn't that kind of sad? We kind of just go through the motions, we get up, we go to work, we, you know, maybe go to the gym, we come home, we have dinner, everything is like on autopilot and we wanna live intentionally. We wanna actually enjoy the little things of life. So that's kind of what I want to do today. And in order to help me make my delicious comfort food recipes, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Sprout. So if you haven't heard of Sprout, they are a plant-based milk company from Sweden and they actually make milks from peas. They've got four different types of milks. They have an original, they have an unsweetened, barista blend, and a chocolate. They're all so delicious, creamy, it's higher in protein than like almond milk or oat milk, and they're also really sustainable. So Sprout is made from yellow split peas, which is one of the most sustainable plant-based protein sources, and it uses minimal water, land, and carbon to produce. And this makes Sprout one of the most sustainable dairy alternatives out there in the market, which is so awesome. They also use eco-friendly packaging, and because the product is shelf stable, as in you don't need to refrigerate it until you open it up, it actually lasts 365 days unrefrigerated. Amazing, so it doesn't have to take up room in your fridge, okay? And that makes it extra sustainable because when they actually ship the product, they don't require refrigeration, which actually uses a lot less resources and energy and all of that stuff, which is amazing. And of course, you gotta make it taste good, and trust me, it tastes so good. I know, pea protein, you wouldn't think. I was like, oh, I'm not sure, but when I tasted it, I was like, delicious. And I love the fact that it comes in four different varieties so you can use it for different things. So Sprout is designed in Sweden but it's actually manufactured in Canada for those of us in the North American market. Hi Canadians! Hello. And it's available online and across many different retailers throughout North America and Europe. So if you guys want details on where you can purchase Sprout, I'll link the information down below. So thank you so much to Sprout for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out their Instagram and all their social media and their website, which is all linked down below and make sure you support this awesome plant-based company that is super sustainable and makes delicious milks, okay? Anyway, let's get started with what I eat in a day, okay? For breakfast, at first I was like, should I make pancakes? And I was like, you know what? I haven't had waffles in a while. So I'm making waffles. I know, fun. I'm so adventurous. So first I'm gonna make some vegan buttermilk by mixing together some plant-based milk with some apple cider vinegar. And of course I'm using Sprout. I'm using their original kind. And I'm just gonna mix that with apple cider vinegar and set that aside. It's gonna start curdling almost right away. And then into a large mixing bowl, we're gonna mix together the dry ingredients. So into the large mixing bowl, we're adding some flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. And we're gonna mix that together. Then let's add in our vegan buttermilk. And if I had some vanilla extract, I would also add that, but I ran out, need to get some more. Anyways, we're gonna mix this well, and that's gonna be our batter, so simple. I also wanted to make this extra delicious by adding in some vegan chocolate chips. I had very little <laughs> vegan chocolate chips, okay? If I had more, I would add more, but I just had a very small amount. So I'm just adding some of that, and then let's waffle, okay? Let's make our waffles. I definitely made enough for two people, so I saved some more for later because I live alone. So that means double the waffles for me. Yay! So as I was making the waffles, I was like, I need to add some kind of a protein so I feel fuller. And I decided to just throw in some vegan chicken fingers into my air fryer. And I also made a little sauce with it. It's so simple. It's literally just vegan mayo with Dijon mustard. Just mix that together and that's gonna be for my chicken fingers. It was kind of a shame, not gonna lie, because I was like, oh my God, I could have literally made vegan chicken and waffles just by putting the chicken fingers on top of the waffles. But because I added chocolate chips into the waffles, I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, listen, I'm all for weird food combinations, but I think I draw the line at chocolate chips and vegan chicken fingers. So I decided instead 
instead, I'm just gonna take some frozen raspberries and just heat it up in the microwave a little bit and top my waffles with that, along with some maple syrup, of course. And then I'm just having the vegan chicken fingers on the side with the mayo and Dijon mustard. And I mean, that still looks glorious. Come on, that looks so beautiful. This is one way to romanticize your life, okay? Plate your food nicely, just make it look pretty, make it look satisfying, okay? They say we eat with our eyes first. So just allow yourself that luxury once in a while. It doesn't have to be every day. It doesn't have to be all the time, but once in a while, just allow yourself that luxury of giving yourself a beautiful plate of food and just basking in the glory of it all. And obviously I'm normally for very quick meals that are super simple. And to be honest, this was pretty simple and quick, but once in a while, like on a day like this, I like to take my time a little bit more and slowly make my food. And of course, light up a little candle, watch a little Notting Hill. Guys, Notting Hill, mm -hmm, one of the best rom-coms ever. Do we agree? Let me know. I love Notting Hill. Here are my favorites. Notting Hill, I love me some Bridget Jones Diary. I also love me When Harry Met Sally. That one's my favorite. Anyways, totally off topic. I also wanted to say this breakfast is perfect for me because it's a combination of both sweet and savory, which is totally my favorite thing to do. I love just eating sweet things than savory things. Just taking like one bite of each thing at a time because it just makes each thing tastes sweeter and more savory and just more delicious so yeah so after i'm done breakfast i actually made myself a second coffee um i do usually have coffee first thing in the morning i have a black coffee and then i do some work and things like that before breakfast and on this day it was no exception i already had coffee but i'm having a second coffee and this time i'm making it slightly more fancy my friends got me this beautiful espresso machine with a steamer so once in a while i do like to make a little bit of a cappuccino situation so first i made myself a little espresso and i'm going to take some of the sprout barista blend which obviously is great for steaming and i'm just going to steam that so i can make a little cappuccino So if you love uh, steamed milks, if you like to make cappuccinos or lattes, highly recommend trying the Barista Blend because it steams really well and it makes the perfect cappuccino. And then of course I spilt it all, oh my gosh. But that's okay. I managed to uh, save it. Look at this, it's like it never happened. So I'm drinking that lovely cappuccino. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And can we just talk about this beautiful cup situation? I got this at a vintage market and it wasn't really that expensive actually. There was so much china. Why do they call it china? Anyway, this is one way I really love to romanticize my life and just make myself feel a little bit special just by drinking out of these beautiful little cups. It just makes you feel special. It makes you feel like you're doing something nice for yourself and it's so simple. And yeah, I pretty much drink out of these cups almost every day now. It just makes the experience so much more enjoyable. Most of us use really fancy looking china only when guests come over, but why do we need to do that? Why don't we use it for ourselves? Why don't we take those moments and enjoy for ourselves? Why do we have to have a guest in order to have a beautiful experience? So after breakfast and after Notting Hill, I am going grocery shopping, finally leaving the house. Leaving the house is very important, guys, just FYI. Anyway, I also decided to get myself some flowers because why not? I think we need to normalize getting ourselves flowers, just doing nice things for ourselves. Once again, flowers are beautiful. They brighten up a space. And why do we have to wait for somebody else to buy us flowers? Look how beautiful these are. <laughs> makes me so happy all right it is lunchtime we're gonna make mac and cheese because that is the ultimate comfort food so i'm taking some cashews and i'm just going to boil them with some water to soften for about 15 to 20 minutes and meanwhile you're also going to cook your pasta then I'm just gonna heat up a little bit of oil on a pan and I'm gonna brown some garlic just slightly, just cook it just slightly, you know? 
And then I'm going to add that cooked garlic into a blender along with some non-dairy milk. This time we're using unsweetened. And of course I'm gonna use the Sprout unsweetened milk. And I feel like the Sprout milk works perfectly for this recipe because it's nice and thick and creamy. I feel like it's not as thin as some plant-based milks are. And this one is nice and rich. So it just makes that sauce even more creamy and delicious. So along with the non-dairy milk, we're gonna add in some water, the cashews that we've softened, along with some salt, nutritional yeast, some lemon juice, paprika, and some turmeric for that yellow color. I also love garlic, so I'm gonna add in some garlic powder as well. And then we're gonna blend this and blend this until it's nice and smooth. And as you can see here, it is so nice and creamy and smooth and cheesy. And oh my God, this is so good, you guys. I'm telling you, this is like the best mac and cheese sauce. It's very similar to the one I posted a few years ago. Slightly different. I think I just added slightly different spices, but pretty much the same thing. But it's nice and rich and delicious. And oh my God, I'm obsessed. I decided to also add in some smoked tofu for protein. So I'm just chopping some up. I already had some in my fridge. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that onto the pan. You don't really have to cook this, but since the pan was already dirty, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna use the pan. So I added the uh, smoked tofu on the pan and then we're gonna add the cooked pasta along with some of the sauce. The sauce definitely makes more than one serving. So I'm just adding in just enough for one serving and you can save the rest for later. And as you can see, it's so nice and creamy and oh my God. God. I'm literally salivating at this very moment because I want to eat this right now. I decided to be an adult and add a few vegetables on my plate. I was like, I could just eat the mac and cheese, but I am over 30 years old, so let's eat some vegetables. So I added some baby carrots and some grape tomatoes, and then I'm going to plate my delicious mac and cheese with smoked tofu. And oh my gosh, guys, doesn't this like look unhealthy? Like it looks unhealthy delicious, but it's healthy. It's a much healthier version of mac and cheese and it's so good, it's so creamy, it tastes delicious. Trust me, you guys, you need to try this out. It is so, so good. And the uh, smoked tofu is definitely the cherry on top. It makes it taste extra like smoky, like you put some like bacon bits in there or something. Oh my gosh, so good. And of course, because we are treating ourselves today and making ourselves feel special, we're gonna use a nice little wine glass for my sparkling water because I'm fancy like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I swear, just things taste different when you drink or eat from a very nice cup or plate. Trust me, okay? It makes a difference. It makes a difference. It's all in the little details. And on days like this, as much as I love spending time alone, I do love to also fit in a little bit of family or friend time. And on this day, I met up with some friends. We went to a cute little pub, which reminds me of like a British pub, which totally gives me all the nostalgic feelings. But anyway, I couldn't film too much of the inside because there was a lot of people and I didn't want to film random people. That'd be awkward. So anyways, we're just having a couple beers, you know, just chilling, having a little conversation. And we also had some fries we had like two baskets of those yeah it was great so that's just a little reminder for you to go and spend some time with people that you like spending time with it doesn't have to be anything crazy anything fancy you could just have people over go for a walk go for a nice lunch or a coffee or maybe a few beers whatever it is just keep your social connections and have fun with your loved ones and now let's make some dinner and i'll be honest i actually made dinner before i went out because I knew I was gonna be drinking a little bit, so I just wanted to make food before I left so that when I came home, there was food ready for me. Aren't I smart? Anyways, I'm making cream of mushroom soup. I remember when I was a kid, my family and I would go to some sort of a steakhouse back in Korea. This is obviously before I was vegan, and they would serve this creamy soup. Okay, I have very distinct memories of this creamy soup that I was like obsessed with. And I feel like the closest thing is cream of mushroom soup. And cream of mushroom soup is just delicious. And it really gives me those nostalgic feels. Anyways, that's my little random story about creamy soup. So we're going to make some creamy soup. So into a pot, we're going to add some uh, vegan butter or oil if you want. And I'm also going to add in some diced onion, minced garlic. We're going to cook that up for a couple of minutes. Then let's add in our chopped mushrooms. 
So as you can see, I very roughly chopped the mushrooms. You can chop them more finely if you'd like, but um, I didn't. <laughs> so I'm just going to cook that up a little bit. Just let the mushrooms sweat a bit. Then we're gonna add in some thyme and mix that well and keep cooking. Then let's add in some flour and again mix it so that everything is kind of coated a little bit with that flour. Then we're gonna slowly pour in some unsweetened non-dairy milk. Of course, I'm using that same Sproud unsweetened milk. We're gonna slowly pour that in while we mix and that's gonna create a really lovely creamy soup. To flavor, I'm gonna add in a cube of vegetable bouillon, vegetable stock cube, whatever you wanna call it. This is my laziest and most favorite way of flavoring like a soup. So it's super easy and simple and just makes everything taste good. We're also gonna add in some black pepper and some garlic powder, and then we're gonna mix this well and bring this to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, you can kind of turn it down to like a medium low, low heat and just kind of let it simmer for a bit. And this part is optional, but I wanted to add in some protein to make this more filling. So I added in some chickpeas, but again, it's totally optional, but I decided to do it. So we're just going to mix that. And I like to let this simmer for like, I don't know, a good 10, 15 minutes or so, just to let those mushroom flavors just soak in to that soup. And oh, it's so good. And now it is time to make my dinner. So I have this lovely piece of French bread that I toasted and now I am putting some hummus on top. And what is it about French bread? It is so soft and delicious. Oh, it's so comforting. Anyways, I also had some quinoa salad that was left over that I made the other day. So I'm having a little bit of that on the side as well because I wanted to have some more veggies and things like that make this dinner a little bit more interesting. I like to have lots of flavors, lots of different textures in each meal, so there you go. Anyways, there's the soup. Oh my God, does that look so good? I mean, this dinner, it looks so good. It's so comforting, it's so warm, it's satisfying, has lots of different flavors, textures, and oh, it's so good. So there's my cozy, warm, delicious plant-based dinner. Highly recommend trying out that delicious cream of mushroom soup. And of course, would a self-care day be complete without candles and a bath? <laughs> I'm lighting up some candles in my bathroom. And I also have, of course, this beautiful diffuser going, essential oils going. I mean, look at this. Look at this ambiance, okay? It's all about creating that ambiance, okay? While my bathtub is filling up, I am going to put on a mud mask because what self-care day is complete without a face mask? Okay, I know I said the same thing about the bath, but let's be honest, the face mask is definitely a must, okay? I can skip a bath, but I can't skip a face mask when it comes to a self-care day. So I put that on and then I look at this glorious ambiance that I created for myself. We've got candles, we've got essential oils, we have a bubble bath, which is a little sad. I should have added some more bubbles, but that's okay. We also have a tea there, some more candles. I have a little iPad there so I could watch some Netflix. And there you go. I've created a little spa moment in my own bathroom. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. Let me know below if you are, you know, into these types of videos. Again, I'm super into watching these types of videos, so if you want more, I can do more comfort food, self-care, sort of what I eat in a day. Thank you so much to Sprout once again for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out their website and their social media, which is all linked down below. Make sure you purchase their delicious plant-based milks because it is so worth it. And of course, they're such a sustainable option, which makes it even better. And once again, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.